hi guys welcome back to the channel today in this video we're going to be making this beautiful skirt right here so if you're interested in seeing how to make this for yourself please keep on watching and let's get started so to make this skirt you'll be needing at least two different akara prints one and a half yard inch a lining piece and then a zipper so these are the fabrics i'm going to be using you can see my print is very colorful and my chalk is pink so i've decided to go ahead and draft this on a pattern paper so the first thing i'm going to do is to go ahead and draw a straight line across that is going to serve as my waistline so i'm going to call this the waist and then from here i'm going to go ahead to take all my vertical measurements so i'll be extending my tape by one and a half inch because i'm going to be having one and a half inch band so from that point there i went down to eight inches which is my hip line so i'll call this the hip and then still taking note of that one and a half inch i went down to the full length i want this skirt to be which is 18 inches and i'm also going to extend that line across so this is the center of our skirt and now on this top here which is the waistline i'm going to mark my waist measurement divided by four I marked it here then i added one inch for that and then an extra one inch for stitching allowance then on the hip line i'll mark my hip measurement divided by four and then add one and a half inch for stitching allowance here and then on this end of the skirt i'll remove one inch from what i have on the hip line so i'm marking seven here then i'll add one and a half inch for stitching allowance so i'm just going to use my ruler now to connect all the last points Now to get our that, you'll be needing half of your nipple to nipple measurement. So mine is three and a half and I marked it here. And then I'm going to come down, still taking note of that one and a half inch. I came down by four inches. So I'm just going to mark a line across. We are taking note of one and a half inch because of our waistband. Hope you remember. So after coming down, I'm just going to go in and out of this line by half of an inch on both sides and just connect them to get my dart. So this is what I have right now. So the next thing I'm going to do is to come down from the waistline by half of an inch here. Or you can go down by one inch as well. So I'm going to come down here like this. And I'm going to connect this point into the waistline. So now we will not be needing this part anymore. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out. So this is it for the front pattern. So now we're going to be using this front pattern to cut out the back. But first on the back pattern, I've gone in by one and a half inch and I'm using that one and a half inch point. I used it to make a line across to get my zipper allowance. And then I just placed the front pattern on it, just like you see me doing like this, just right on that line. And then I'm going up from the waist by one inch which is that one inch that we removed from the front pattern when we were drafting it the back does not need to have that waist curve in front so i just replaced that one inch here and extended it to meet the other side and basically that's all every other thing i'm just going to trace it out as it is on the front pattern so when you're through with that you're just going to go ahead and cut it out just the same way you're seeing me doing like this so this is basically all for the front and the back patterns and what i'm going to do right now is go ahead and use these to cut out on my actual fabric so right now i'm going to go ahead and trace out this pattern on my actual fabric and you know that the print fabric is going to be for the skirt and then the blue is going to be for the ruffle so right now i'm just folding my print fabric and i'm just going to get my pencil skirt but I added extra three inches to the actual length I have on this pattern paper. You guys know that there's this way I like to attach my lining to my actual fabric. That's why I'm adding that extra three inches. So please add three inches to whatever measurement you have as well. So I've cut out the front and the back pieces as you can already see. So it's going to be folded up something like this, right? So what I'm going to do now is to go ahead and cut out lining pieces that will start from the waist down to this point where i made this fold 
so this is what i have this is my lining and then the fold is going to finish up the lining by the time i'm done so i'm going to open it up and what we're going to do now is to join the lining and the actual fabric together so it's totally fine if the lining is looking as if it's way shorter than the actual fabric just as it's looking like this it's totally fine so what i'm going to do is to pin this area down like this and i'm going to go ahead and stitch it down here and when i'm through stitching it down i'll pull it up like this so that the other part of the fabric completes the lining and i'll stitch down the sides that's for the front i'm going to just do the same thing exactly for the two back pieces as well so you join the sides like this ensure that the right sides are on the right side like the area for the hip curve is on the right side so you pull it up stitch this side and stitch this side perfectly so the top is going to be where we are going to turn it from so this is what i have here after i've done all the stitches around can you see so i'm going to turn this to the right side flip everything over to the right side and i'm going to iron them out so that you guys will see how neat it will come out so all my skirt pieces are ironed out neatly and you can see how the folding up just really make it look nice with this kind of method there is no way your lining is going to show from the skirt so now when you're true with this as you can see i'm putting everything together arranging them properly and i'm from the front part marking three and a half from the front not from the zipper allowance from the front i mark three and a half which is my nipple to nipple measurement so this point here is going to be where we will mark our darts we're going to stitch down our darts um so this is something that i've done severally with all the pencil skirt i've done here so i'm going to go over to the sewing machine now and stitch down my dart so to stitch down your dart you're going to fold it up like this and stitch it down with about three inches down so three inches down i'm just going to go ahead and stitch it down here and i will do it for all the dart areas so i'm done stitching down my dots and this is what i have you can see it right here and this is also it for the front pieces so now i'm going to put the front and the back pieces together just like i'm doing like this and what you're going to do is to be sure of the measurement you have for your zipper allowance and mine is one and a half inch so i just marked it here then from the waist area i'm taking note of the band which is one and a half inch i came down by eight inches so from this point here i'll also take note of that one and a half inch that is my zipper allowance and then from the end i'm going to come up by four and a half inch this is going to be for my slits so this little point here is just the area i'm going to stitch down so i've gone ahead to stitch that that line i just made and you can see this is the slit under here can you see i've already hemmed it down and then this up, upper area is going to be where the zipper will be so this is the back is gradually coming to life it's looking beautiful already so this back piece and this right here is the front piece so now what i'm going to do is to go ahead and mark my body measurements on this so on the waist i'm going to divide my waist measurement by two and mark it divide the measurements on both sides on the hip measurement as as well divide the measurement by two so when you're doing this please make sure you're using your own body measurements um to get this so when you're true you're going to go ahead and join these parts together so this is what the skirt looks like after we're done stitching down both sides the pencil skirt is gradually coming to life now for the ruffle that is going to go around i've gone ahead to cut out this piece and this longer length right here is four yards so that we're able to have enough ruffle and then this other length is 12 inches so it's actually four yards against 12 inches i've also gone ahead to make a, a gather stitch at one end of this fabric just like you see me doing like this so i'm just going to pull on this gather just make this gather and when i'm true with that i'm going to leave this aside and mark on the actual skirt where i want this gather to be 
So on this other actual skirt, I'm still taking note of my one and a half inch band. I went down to seven inches, but I felt like that was too much. If you're using yours, please go down to just like about three inches. So then on this other end from the down, I came up by four inches. So I'm just going to make a curve to connect these two points. I'm sure you must have noticed that I've loosened up the end the end here so that i'll be able to easily stitch this down i notice that as the end is stitched down it will be very hard to attach our ruffle so i'll take the measurement from the middle and just turn it to the back and just replace that measurement which was five inches here and then what i have here i'll just mark that point again on this side and then on the other side as well i will just remark that point and just join them together to give me another curve at the back so that it's just exactly the same thing i have in front i'm sorry this is the only white chalk i had i had to just save it up for this particular process so that you guys will see what i'm trying to show you so this is where my ruffle is right now it's going to pass through so i'm just marking it's all the way around i hope you understand so i have 40 and a half inches so i'm going to adjust the ruffle that i have to exactly 40 and a half inches so that it will be able to go around this white mark that i made so once i've adjusted that the opening i had on one end that i told you guys i was going to have this one end here i'm going to start stitching this down from that opening so i'm going to place this right side facing each other from this opening here can you see and i'm going to go ahead and stitch it on the line i made exactly on the line and when you get to this end flip it over and continue to stitch it on the line as well until you get to the other end Please, when you're stitching this together, ensure that you spread it open or else if you join it, the front and the back pieces together, you're going to end up sealing up the front and the back and you'll not be able to wear this. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. You're going to open it up. It's going to be a little bit tricky when you're joining this together, but that's why you have the line to follow. So I've stitched this down and this is what we have. You can already see. So I'm just cutting off this excess thread on this side and I'm going to flip it over so that i'll go ahead and finish up that side so this was the side that i had to open up to be able to stitch this down so i'm going to go ahead and seal it up here finish up this area and then we'll talk about our band our zipper and then finish this up so this is the band normally i would gum a stay to it but i don't have any stay right now please if you have a stay go ahead and gum your stay to your band So now what i'm going to do is to go ahead and attach this band to my waistline so i'm going to go to the sewing machine and place it like this first then stitch it around then come back and show you guys how i will be folding it the second time so i've done the first stitching and i did it from the inside out so you see the stitching is showing on the outside here can you see so now i'm going to fold it up again to cover this up can you see what i'm showing you guys here so from the back i've already gone ahead to use my iron to make a fold so it's just going to be easier to just go back now and just fold this up on the sewing machine all the way around the waistline and when i'm through with that um, the next thing i'm going to go ahead and do is just finish this up by adding a zipper to the back here and then i'll go ahead and fold the end of the skirt so after i was true with all of that this is what i have and you can see how beautiful the skirt looks the ends are folded and i fixed my zipper although i use the long zip so i'm just going to cut off the excess right now so this is basically all for this skirt it's very easy and you can see the back where i fixed the zipper as well looking all nice so thank you so much for watching this video today i honestly hope that you find it helpful please let me know what you think about it in the comment section and you can see how it looks on me i will definitely see you guys in my next one if you're not subscribed please subscribe